NCIS is one of the longest-running dramas in the world and this is partly thanks to its ever-changing and interesting cast. Actress Lauren Holly, who was previously known for starring in Picket Fences for four years, was welcomed to the show as NCIS director Jenny Shepard. She proved to be a hit with CBS fans so it came as a shock when Holly suddenly left the police procedural. Warning, this article contains spoilers from NCIS. Several years before NCIS started, agent Leroy Gibbs, played by Mark Harmon, was paired with special agent Jenny Shepard. They were stationed in Europe for an undercover operation and started a romantic relationship while they were away. However, when Gibbs was ordered to return to the USA, Jenny was offered to run her own NCIS unit in Europe so she decided not to return with her partner. So when season 3 started airing, it was more awkward for Gibbs as Jenny was introduced as the next NCIS director, replacing Tom Morrow, Alan Dale. Shetland fans work out Jimmy Perez's replacement as Jenny and Gibbs' flirtation ship continued until season 5 when tragedy struck during an investigation. She was accompanied by Gibbs' mentor Mike Franks, Muse Watson, to an abandoned diner when there was a shootout with four hitmen. They managed to kill a number of them but Jenny died of her injuries sustained in the gunfight. Her body was shortly discovered by agents Tony Donozo, Michael Weatherly, and Ziva David, Co de Pablo, who had to break the bad news to Gibbs. Why did Lauren Holly really leave NCIS as Jenny Shepard? While it came as a surprise to viewers, it hadn't to actress Holly who felt it was her time to go. She admitted on her website that she was growing bored of her role and wanted to move on to another project. Her feelings coincided with the writer's idea of wanting to kill Jenny off so it was a win-win situation for everyone. Holly wrote, To be honest, now that the work bug had bitten me again, I got bored with my part of the director. Then the decision was made to kill me. And boy did they. About five different ways. Shetland viewers rage as fan favorite killed in explosion, reaction, NCIS exit, what happened to Mike Franks? Why did Muse Watson leave? Cast, NCIS Hawaii's Whistler pays tribute to co-star Jason Antoon, tribute, following her dramatic exit. Holly did return a few times as a figment of Gibbs' imagination. Her final appearance was with Harmon in 2015 and she hasn't been seen since. Holly has starred in various popular shows like Motive, Haley Dean Mystery, Designated Survivor, and Tiny Pretty Things. The actress' most recent role was in the drama Family Law as Joanne Kowalski. When it was Jenny's time to go, she was soon replaced by Leon Vance, Rocky Carroll, as the director of NCIS. He has remained the head of the Washington-based unit for the past 14 years and shows no signs of leaving any time soon. So Carroll, along with the rest of the main cast, will be back when NCIS Series 20 makes its debut. NCIS Season 20 premieres on Monday, September 19, on CBS in the USA. A UK release date hasn't been revealed.